Hi, I'm Jackson Burns. I'm the Redneck Archaeologist. And today we're going to be talking about uh, poison pollutions and things coming from plants and killing our trees. We're on a big pecan farm, pecan ranch, and we're trying to find the bottom of the mystery of why thousands and thousands of trees and pecan trees are dying. That's why you're paying more money for pecans nowadays. It's because for some reason or another they're all dying mysteriously and we're on the quest to find out why. Just uh, really bad. These are, a lot of them are dead here. This one of them come got a beer and lean it this way. It might fall. Right across the road, then you have to yeah, you got that chance. Shit, I'm worried all. about it landing on the truck. And yeah. Man in. We used to make like over 250,000 pounds in this orchard. Uh -huh. And this year, that John that was standing there talking to us today, yeah. He I, he got his equipment out. I said, "Well, you come pick mine too." He got eight thousand pounds out of this whole archery. Oh, but just look now. Every spot here was had a pecan tree in it. There wasn't any open voids anywhere. Mm -hmm. So, like right here, you see that open void there. That means them trees between right. this one and that, and that one's one dead. Or, yeah. And then I look further on down across the fence over there. That see that opening in between the line there? Yeah. They're all gone. Those are all kicked off there. Hmm. I'm scared to get up there. This thing used to be like a golf course. Yeah, I but, remember yeah. it was, and that wasn't what, but about 25 minutes yeah. ago. It sure hold looks on, hold like on. a big ass bird. Uh, I'm, I'm filming it, so hold it's on. It's a bird. It's a bird, hold on, a don't move, don't move, don't move. Can you get it? I've got it zoomed in really tight. Let me get it closer. Yeah, buzzard. Yeah, buzzard. That's what it is. Okay. okay. 120 acres out there, and I believe there's seven trees left on that spot. Oh. And it was just all full of. Uh, How many acres did you have here? Well, we pecans? got over 500 total, but in pecans, we got like 350. And how many you got now? Oh, the hell, I, I don't know by acreage. Uh, <laughs> Our trees? Uh, uh, we, we, we lost thousands of trees. In the spring, you can take a good census and see what's That cross out. over there was all pecan trees, and yeah. look, it's gone. It's gone, totally. Tell you all a story, that used to be a property that belonged to this place, but that river changed course, and in our in our deed, it says the one part of the river is the, your boundary line, mm -hmm. and so when it swapped over here, that became our boundary line and moved. One would just do a flop yeah, over, from over on, on the other side, side of the there. tree. The, the river. Yeah. Uh, That's over 200 years old? Yeah. All of this died out. I came back in and planted those over there all the way back yonder. And most of them died out. There's some people rows left here. They're dying in there. Uh, yeah, that ain't right at all. So you're having to pack water around. Dead cedar tree. Oh, you mean this here? All right. Let me zoom in. Where is it? There. There we go. Got it? That's them. You see it? Good enough that they go in more. I can't see a shit. Let me get in more on it. Oh, uh, you're probably zooming in. That's about. No. Wait a second. Right there. There it is. That's it. That's it. Got and that I'm steam back. plume. You ready? You got a hold? Got it. Yeah. Well, I mean, those people, I'm uh, calling them boys, but they are the contractors and that. Uh, they're uh, living in his little trailer park. The whole damn clan, a uh, bunch of them, was in there. And that, he went over there and he had lots of talk to them. And they were telling him that they only put one scrubber out here in this house. And they're advertising that they put two and they're going to put the rest of them on now. Well, they've so. got those big ass fucking hydrostatic precipitators on the, uh, on the first two. 
because you remember one of the first fatalities they had on that plant was when that guy cooked himself in that uh, one uh, that transformer thing or uh, something. It, it's the one where the, it, it, it's the electrostatic precipitator. Yeah, he went in there. Yeah, he and, went in there. And uh, supposedly was, he wasn't supposed to be able to get in there. Right. It was keyed or something. Yeah. And somehow or another it... Uh, and then, do you remember when uh, when them two guys went to the elevator and he had the elevator door open and mm -hmm. he was blocking it and trying to finish his conversation with somebody that wasn't going to come down that... Yeah. And so they've mutated from uh, plants and coal gasification plants and whatnot. And same like a band, there's a band of these power plants across the United States, and everywhere there's a power plant, these strange chupacabra looking or like animals are found. And a lot of people believe that that's part of the problem. Then we get them damn hogs, and now we got this thing. <laughs> I was <laughs> really down in the dumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Uh, you know, some of them far ends could make a nest this tall. Mm-hmm. When I was over at A&M, they uh, gave me the duty of going out to all the agricultural extension club meetings for the old ladies and whatnot and giving the fire ant lectures. We got you a fortune in irrigation pipe. Yeah, I got a lot more of the stash too. We got some have you some underground irrigation going on. And only do it at night whenever the fucking planes can't fly. Who you get your Connex boxes from? I got over at Grinnell. So that's 